wants to bet that uh, they're going to keep the cam down for a while, maybe the next couple of days, because Gavin Newsom's going to come down to the dam and he's going to check it out. I think so. I mean, if it stays down for a couple of days, I think Gavin Newsom's going to come down, their governor, and they're going to decide what they're going to do next, uh, to keep it down, and uh, he's going to give them, tell them when they're going to be able to open up the spillway or let the cam open up the cams again and let people see. I don't know. He might. I don't know what he's gonna do, but it's insane. And if they keep it down for a few more days, the cam where we can't see anything, all we can do is speculate. We see 893 and dropping in feet, and the outflow is a lot less in the drain. The lake keeps draining, but there's not a lot of outflow even coming from the HPP powerhouse. There's hardly any outflow, but the water's going down. But then we can't see anything, so we can't see how how uh, far up the lake is cresting onto that weir that's cracked and all that. We don't know. They're moving asbestos. We can't see if they're moving asbestos, but who knows, you know? If they keep the cam down any more than, longer than tomorrow, I would say that Gavin Newsom, our governor, is over there down at the uh, Oroville Lake in the dam, and they're having him look at the numbers, and then they're probably going to bring him down to the lower spillway to look at the damage. And he's going to be the deciding factor what they're going to do next, I think. If that cam is continuing to be shut down and they, they release information saying, oh, we're still working on the asbestos removal, but we can't see anything and we can't see anybody. And if they do put any cam footage up, you never know. It might just be a loop of old footage. But if we've been paying attention like most people have, you're going to know it's the same, it's the same footage as you saw before. It's not brand new footage. So... Something's going to happen, I don't know, but this is just a pathetic excuse, and I don't know why we voted in a governor who does not want to take care of the problems we have in this state. They just continue to escalate, get worse, and they keep trying to cover it up with epoxy and grout. That's what they're doing with our country, too, uh, our, just the bad parts that are blue. The red parts are actually doing better, but I live in a blue state, and they keep trying to patch it up, and eventually it's going to come apart like the dam. So, just watch out for that camp, and I keep checking it, and it's still down. I check all the YouTube pages that have live feed of the camp, live camp, and they're down. So, and all people are doing is commenting on it, but you can't see anything. And what you do see, any footage they have, it keeps it keeps crashing, and then there's no there's no footage anymore. So it's weird, and. I would just say if the camp stays down, that they've got the governor involved and he's going to be the one to decide what to do. You know, it's just not good.